Hello. Welcome to the top five of season four of the classic Twilight Zone. Uh, it's coming up on the, the later stage of this uh, show, and we're out of the hour-long format of season three, and we're now into sort of regular programming again. These are not objectively the best episodes or anything like that. These are just the five that speak to me the most and the ones I had most fun watching. Uh, I don't think they're in a particular order. Maybe. I mean, sort of, they are. But anyway, uh, at number five, uh, it's uh, He's Alive, because it has the Hopper in it, and it has Hitler, and it has this amazing premise, and it sort of shows a bit of Rod's sensibilities when it comes to, to hatred and the proliferation of said. Uh, it's just a great episode. I really like it. And I love the stunt at the end. I Dream of Genie, not so much for the actual sort of production part of it, but this reminds me a lot. And of course, the, the, the writers of Bedazzled uh, watched this and other similar things. And it's just wishes don't work out that way. And we've seen this a few times in Twilight Zone, and it's sort of a message that gets on over and over. And it's, it's just lovely. I just adore it. It's just a great episode and a great message, I think. No Time Like the Past uh, comes in at number three, and it is because of the Cassandra complex. And it is when you have these predictions and you want to make sure that things, bad things doesn't happen, and they still happen. And this episode is such a clear illustration of, of how that works. So... Yeah, no, it's just it's just a great episode. I really adore it. And number two is A Printer's Devil. And it is because of Burgess Meredith. So he's been around. He's done other Twilight Zone, other stuff. But here he's off the leash completely. He's just going full force. It's just Burgess Meredith splattered all over the screen. He's doing, just playing it up and having a great time. And it's just, he's just great. And I, I love him to bits. The the premise of it is not bad at all. I really like it. The the idea that you could enforce sort of changes in the world by just writing on this machine. It's nice. But Burgess is the one that seals it for me. But I think the 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 best episode in in season four uh, is uh, of late. I think of Cliffordville. It, first of all, because it is a very very iconic episode overall. Uh, it's one of those that people talk about when they talk about Twilight Zone. But also because it, it is a comeuppance sort of episode where a person we don't really like gets hammered for being the bad person that he is. And it's a sort of catharsis thing. And it's just, it's just nice. I really enjoy this episode. And uh, yeah. And now we're going to get to season five. And I look forward to seeing how that turns out. Thanks for staying with me, guys. Take care.